Alongside her Armenian counterpart, Nancy Pelosi, paying her respects at the genocide memorial. The Speaker of the House of Representatives appeared moved, but the message was clear. The United States is standing firmly alongside Armenia in its time of need. Later in the day, after meetings in the National Assembly, she was equally resolute. Our meeting began had a particular uh, importance to us because of the focus on security following the illegal and deadly attacks on us uh, by the Azerbaijan uh, uh, by, on the Armenian uh, territory. We strongly condemn those attacks, we and our delegation and on behalf of Congress, which threatens prospects for much needed peace agreement. But Pelosi wouldn't be drawn on how the U.S. might contribute to the peace process. We're here to listen to Armenia's security needs, she said, but conceded that Russia had brokered the ceasefire that's currently in place. Initiated by the Assyrians. On the streets of the capital, protesters called for an end to the Russian brokered peace process under the Collective Security Treaty Organization, or CSTO. We have an alliance with Russia which is now protecting us and we are at a dead end. We are like hostages in our own country, but Armenia is in Europe, and that is it. We are a European country. Can you hear what people are shouting? Out of CSTO, out of CSTO. Well, there's enthusiasm here for pulling out of the current peace process. Everyone agrees it's not working for Armenia, but there's heated discussion too. No one knows exactly what should replace it. While everyone wants American support, no one can agree on how that might work in practice. And here on the border, talk of peace seems very far away. The recent outbreak of fighting has left these villages deserted after farmers fled the shelling that hit their homes and the military moved in. The fact is that at this moment Azerbaijan is targeting civilians and there isn't an adequate response from the international community yet, which is not good. In the vast grasslands and hills on the border, the pathway to a permanent peace remains elusive and out of sight. Tony Cheng, Al Jazeera, Yerevan.